Welcome to the fastest daf in town. Today we're going to start with the daf chav beis. We're going to begin on chav al from the beis, five lines on the bottom. Torah bottom. Then avil gimel yom nemer shayim. The first three days of, of a mourner, bama makom karov mona imahem. So he ends up counting with them the end as they do. Says Rashi, im havelim shiva oisim makoy. All of those people that are there, hoyel de b'makom karov havi. Since he was close by, the Yochel of Abedchilos Havelos, he actually could have gotten there at the beginning and sat Shiva at the beginning like they did. Therefore, says Rashi, Chashvin in the lake Kamosh the Asa. It's Kiel like he actually was there. Then Umayna El Heyomim Im Shar So he ends up only counting five days like the rest of the Avelos. Everyone else sat seven, but because he got there. Uh, within the first three days, let's say he got there day two, he could have gotten there day one, so he doesn't have to count an extra day. However, if he came from far away, where there's no way he could have gotten there, then he counts himself, which, as Rashi says, he actually has to uh, count seven full days, which means some people actually will be getting up from Shiva, and he'll be continuing sending Shiva. Mikan Vielach, from then on, in other words, let's say he shows up at day five, day six. The fact that he got there so late, we don't say, oh, he has to sit Shiva for one or two days. No, he has, he has to actually start counting the full seven. When he comes on the last day, but he was close by, then also Maina Imahen. So according to him, but Mokim Karoiv, because he could have gotten there, doesn't make any difference, even if it's the very last day. Amr Mar, Gimel Yomem Harishayim Mokim Mokim Karoiv Moinam Ehen. So he said it counts with him. Amr Rav Chibar Rabba, Amr Rav Yochanan, Vehu Sheish Gadol Habayas. Bibayas, says Rashi. Sheba Umatzi Gadol Habayas Bibayas. You go and you find that the most important person of the house is there. So Mon Imahen, Im Aveli Abayas. Since this person is Chashiv and you walked into that person's home and you're not the Gadol among all of them, so you're like Tafel, you're just like secondary to them, to this Gadol, and therefore you just complete up with with them, even though you didn't actually do seven days, says Rashi. who This person is like Hatsar, meaning like smaller than them. Let's say the Gadol is the one that was on the road. And he showed up in the middle. He came within three days. Even he still will count for himself. So even though he was but because he's Gadol and he came, he came and the Gadol came late, so then he counts uh, for himself. Fat the Gemara, Iboyu, as we continue Chapez Manalf, Halach Gadol Habayis Labay, Labayis Akvodes Mahu. Let's say that the Gadol goes uh, to the cemetery. What's the din? What does that mean? So Chun Rashi, Acher Mitasay Lekayber. So he actually goes to ensure that the mace is being buried properly. Vishashem Kibul Yomim, and because. He went there, it took him three days to do it. So, Mahu, Micha Shvinale, Kaman Dehavi Bebese, is it key like he was in the house? Because he was really doing it for the sake of the mace. So, it's, it's key like he was there. So, Tashma, Diamar Mechia Barab, Boim Rab Yochan, and Apil Halach, Gadol Habayah, Slabesic Varis, even if he goes to the cemetery, Moini Mahen, he counts with them. Says, Moina uh, Imahen. Says Rashi, the Avela Shalahim Hishilu, uh, Mishachazu Penehim in a mace. Avela Shalgadol at Shistam Hagoyel. This is very interesting. It depends on your situation. If, and this is, for example, let's say you're shipping the, the remains to a basic virus in Israel, and you're at JFK and you are not going. So as soon as the mace basically leaves and you drive home, at that moment you're sitting Shiva, even though the Kfur didn't take place yet. But if you're 
in Israel or you're accompanying the mace, so it's only after the actual kvura is when Shiva begins. Fine. Vasanya, we learn as follows. Moinol Atzmo. We learn that actually he should count by himself, not that he counts with them. So Kasha, Had Asbigoy Tlasa, Vahadoloy Asbigoy Tlasa. So it's all totally if he came within the three days or not in the three days. If he, if it's within the three days, he is count, counts with them. However, if it's after the three days, he counts himself. They, they came within three days. This That was Svaini as a Marsh as a Makoim. Uh, and they counted with them. They didn't come within the, that time. He counted by himself. So he said to the people in Mechayza, Atun, Doi as Lisu Basarisa, you don't actually go to the cemetery, you don't follow the casket. So Mechim had Risu Apaihu Mibaba de Avula Aschilu Manu. So you start counting your Shiva only, as we said, at that mo- at that moment is when you turn around and you go to your home. So even though again those who are accompanying the mace, the din is it's only after the Kfura, but if you're not accompanying the mace. It's as soon as you turn back. Okay. Vaita. Rav Shimon Aimer, Afil Baba Yoim Hashim, Makam Karib Mayna Mahan. So he said that even if it's the last day, if you're sent your Makam Karib, so you count with them. Am Rav Chibur Gamda, Am Rav Yosi Ben Shol, Am Rabbi, Vahu Shaba, Umatza, Menachman Etzloi. The only time we, we say this din is only in a situation. Where you, um, when you came and you found that there were people that are giving divrei nachama. In other words, there are still people that are consoling. So even though it's the seventh day, the reality is it's not like it's the seventh day and everyone's gone and there's no one giving divrei nachama. And then that's already too late. Okay, let's look at, actually let's continue. Boy Rav Anan, ninaru lamayvul omdu mahu teku. Let's say, for example, they're about to get up, uh, but they just didn't completely get up. They were uh, shaking or they were about in the process of getting up. So the din is, we're not, it's in the boy delishita, whether it counts. Question five. Abu Habo Toich Zain Memakam Acher. He comes from another place. Be'ez Oifin. When do we say Mayna Ima Hen? Ve'ein Mayna La'atzmo. La'halacha. So when do we say that we count with them? So first of all, if it's so if he was close by, so he counts with them. And as right as we just saw, there's dafka in the situation where there's still people consoling. Vaiter. Gemirim, we learn like this. Chavid Rav Abba Barchia Merav Abba Uman Rav Zera Biyarmo. Some say it was Chavid Rav Zera Merav Zera Uman Rav Abba Bereid Rav Chia Bar Abba and Rav Yochanan Halacha Kerem Shimon Ben Gamuel Betrefus. The halacha is like. Rav Shimon and Gamliel will discuss what that, this means regarding the dinim of Trefa. And Allah is like Rav Shimon when it comes to Avelis. Now, Rav Shimon Avel had Amr. We already said that. Namely, that even on the seventh day, he could still count, and therefore he'll end up only sitting Shiva that one day. But it's only in a situation where there are still um, people, when you go, in the Matzah Menachem and Netzlai, there are people consoling. Now, what is this by Trefus? Rosh Hashem but Trefus did not. B'nei me'yu me'oyim shenikvu. Let's say when it comes to the stomach of an animal that has developed a hole, v'leicha susamton. However, the moisture, the liquid, clogged it up. It covers up this hole. Kshayra, divri Rosh Hashem Gamliel. According to Rosh Hashem Gamliel, the fact that it was clogged up or closed up, the din is that it is... Um, not a trefa. So, my lecha, what is lecha? So, Merav Kahana, Shirka Demea. It's referring to, again, this type of liquid in the stomach, to nafik agav duchacha, that comes out because of, of it being uh, pushed or pressed. So, this is something in which will cause um, it to be a, a plug, if you will, in 
this area. And therefore, for that reason, uh, it's not a trefa. Omer, so he said, Man dehu ezki v'osik v'agmir l'shmaisim apul medamari, who you should be zaycha to be able to learn from the mouth of this master, says Rashi, Rav Abba b'rei de Rav Chia, O Rav Zera. Ki solak ashkechi, when he went up, he found, Rav Abba b'rei de Rav Chia, but Rabba omer le omer mar halacha kersha mungu b'treifas. So he asked, is that true? Is the halachas like him? So I'm only on the eight halacha amri. I heard it's not. Krav Shimon b'evil mai. How about, okay, you're saying the halachas not like him when it comes to treifas. How about Rav Shimon? We're going to avail us. So I'm only plucked the ninhu de inma rav chista imar halacha. Vechen imar rav yochan halacha. Rav nachan imar in halacha. Vein halacha rav shimon b'evil b'treifas. Vah halacha rav shimon b'evil. However, even though it's not it back and forth, we end up saying that the halacha is like Reb Shimon. Why? Dear Mishmu, halacha could be makel be'evel. Because he said that it even works on the seventh day. That That's a kula. Therefore, he only has to sit shiva that one day. So we paskin typically like the like the makel. When it comes to avelus. Al koil ha'mesim kulin. When it comes to all different types of individuals whose relative died. Mancha mitasai. Harizem shubach. Says Rashi. You should try to do the burial as quick as possible. But if you push it when it comes to your parents, we have to show extra COVID. That's why Avelis is 12 months for parents who have died, as opposed to the other five relatives. So by pushing it, it almost shows that you're showing a lack of respect. And it's Maguna, it's, it's disrespectful and disgraceful. So on that, Harizem Maguna. However, if it happens to be on a Friday, so or Erev Yomtiv, so because Yomtiv is coming, you don't want the mace to be um, not buried for that many days, as it shows a lack of covered mace, so therefore it can be done. I'll call mace him coolin, rutz ma mace rutz a enumimai. However, when it comes to all the rel- all relatives that die, the din is that a person should, as Rashi says, schayra. One should business should minimize their business transactions. However, when it comes to your parents, there's no question a person should minimize their business transactions. Al koil hamesim kul and ratzah chayelitz ratzah enu chayelitz. When it comes to all other people that die, if you want, you could be chayelitz Rashi says ksefo. To uh, expose the your shoulders, I'll other the emo chayyutz that you for sure do. Masa be gadol hador echad shemais aviv ubikish lachayyutz. He wanted to do this for his father. Ubikish gadol hador acher sheimo lachayyutz, and there was another gadol hador with him. Venimne and they held him back v'lo chayyutz, and he didn't do it. So Omer Abaye gadol hador Rebbe. Gadol Hador Sheimoi Rav Yaakov Bar Acha. Bigadi Ami Gadol Hador Rav Yaakov Bar Acha. Gadol Hador Sheimoi Rebbe. So Bishlom Olman Yamer Gadol Hador Sheimoi Rebbe. That in the, the generation it's referring to Rebbe. Hainu Din Nimna Loi Chalutz. That's why he held back and he did not do the Chalitza because he was a Gadol Hador. Olman Yamer Rebbe Yaakov Bar Acha. Olman Nimna Loi Chalutz. Why didn't he do it? Rashi Gamliel Nasi Havi. So Rashi Gamliel was. A nasi, um, Rebbe's, which is referring to Rebbe's father, vakuli alma mechavim lemichlats, and therefore he certainly should have done. He should have exposed his shoulders. Kasha, and this is the top taisus. Ein zemasa lister dehadin nimna v'loy chalutz zehem mi gadol hador imoi. So the reality is, this is not. A, uh, a stira because even though you're supposed to reveal your shoulders uh, which is a typical situation for a parent who died however not if the individual is the gadol ador if you look on the side of ein mishba ner mitzvah it says right so it's really supposed to be like almost chasuri machsura it's supposed to say that if it's not befitting for you to do so, then you shouldn't. And this is what the story is. 
Typically, when it comes to a relative who dies, you don't get a haircut, but it's only for 30 days. After the 30 days, you'll have to get a haircut. However, when it comes to your parents, it's only when someone comes up to you and says that your hair looks too long. So that could certainly be already a few months in. I'll call him Mason Kulam. Uh, looking at Rashi, Nira de Regal and Mavatal Dabrze. Okay. I'll call him Mason Kulam, Nichna Sabesa Simcha. You can go to a, a simcha, you can go to a party after 30 days. For your parents, it's 12 months. Okay. A person is allowed to go to a simcha's mereus. So if you look in Rashi, Simchas Mreis, Suda, Suda Shaisen Reim, a Suda that friends make, Vahuvim, people that you love, Zayim Zed, Voyavi Simcha Kokach. A Suda de Simcha can go in the Suin low. Clearly, it says in Rashi that to go to a wedding, one is not supposed to go to go to a wedding for for 12 months. So, Kuntaisus, the Dafko Simchas Mreis Motel Acher Va Midyoin. A Vos Simchas Chasen Oser Afil Acher. So what Tysus is saying is that even the other relatives, you know, uh, the only heter is um, is only when it's talking about Simchas Reyes. However, when it comes to Nesuin, the person is not allowed to do so. Okay. So You can actually do that right away. I bought a tiny with simcha shleishim for a simcha thirty days. A mareis shleishim lo kasha. Ha ba'aris ba'arisusa ha b'pur anusa. What is that referring to? So Rashi says like this: Arisa, which usually means like a sharecropper. One of them was one of your friends was making a meal. Um, and he invited everyone. Uh, also that you should do so. You should also like make a meal like that. You shouldn't participate in something like that for 30 days. Until after 30 days. Of Pranusa. Uh, the Mishalma Hem Sudois Shinasal Yechanis Alter Shi Eshelo Shalol Shalin. However, when it comes to, again, a Suda in which you're supposed to pay them back, so you could actually go to that um, immediately. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll go back. That's one of the questions. We'll explain this a little bit more next after we finish this off. Alkoha Mesim Kulan Kairea Tefach. When it comes to tearing Korea, you're supposed to rip at least a Tefach, a hand's breath. Until the heart is revealed. Because the Pasuk says, That you grab hold, David grabbed hold of his garments, and he tore them. You don't have to rip all your garments, just the top one. You have to rip all your garments. The pikar susai, as well as when it comes to the undergarment, enu keves. That is uh, not ma'akev. In other words, as Rashi says, shall roishai enu keves klamer in sarach lekaira. You do not need to rip your undergarment. Echad isha, echad isha. Now, when it comes to kriya, everyone must do it, men and women alike. Rabbi Shimon Lezer, Oimer Haisha, Karas Es A woman will rip the outer, O Machazirasai Lachareha, and she'll like turn it around, O Chazeres Vikaras Es Elyon, she ends up tearing the top. So Rashi says, it's all, all this is Mishum Snius, so that it's not um, revealed too much. Al Kol HaMesim Kulan Ratzam Mavdil Kamei Safa Shalo Ratzam. Um, if a person wants, you can hold on and tear from the collar. Enu mabdil um, and ratza enu mabdil. Now, abial imo mabdil. 
says Rashi, um, that you do not, it's, you want, you could rip from the, the, the collar or, or not. It says Rashi, you tear under, so it's, a, it's very clear. Says Rashi, you rip the collar. But when it comes to your parents, uh, it has to be more apparent, the rip. Um, fine. If you do not actually rip the part where the collar is, you, as Rash says, lo yotzei kriya. You haven't fulfilled your obligation. Otherwise, it's called a kereshel tiflos. Am Rabbi Avo, my time Rabbi Huda dechsei avi chazik bivagada avi karein. With shnayim, so it says again. So we derive from that when it comes to the it has to be actually ripping. With shnayim kroyim memashma. Uh, so it's it's two you're ripping. So mamash mishnah be karim in udeya shehin lo shnayim you're ripping into two. El shenira shenirin kruyin kishnayim. When you rip it, it has to be very clear. It looks like two. Says Rashi in karin el shenira kishnayim. Madu kamei safa venira beisat saver kara acher. You have to be able to see the tear. Al kol mesim kulin shoyel lo acher shiva um acher lo acher shloishim. When it comes to rending the garment, you can sew it back temporarily after Shiva, and then you can mend it completely, perfectly back after Shleishim. Now, you could sew it up in a temporary fashion. You cannot fix it ever. Um, our, we're generally knowing not to, to fix the garment. We should just toss it. alter. However, when it comes to a woman, we do allow her to uh, sew it back immediately in order uh, for her honor. You can rend it either with a hand or with a knife. When it comes to a parent, it's done with a hand. Even though it's difficult, some we have Korean knives. We cut and then we physically rip. With the hands. When it comes to the other kriya, it can be done on the inside garment. Not necessarily the inside garment, because if you have a, whole, a bunch of garments, we use the out one. But it means it could be kind of like on the inside, so it's not so visible. On the outside. Namely, that we also will rip outwardly. Uh, when the, there's a passing of a nasi, we do not uh, compare them except when it comes to the mending of it back. My lava feel a nasi, not when it's referring to the nasi. So nasiya shachiv, he died. So amrule rabchista rabchan baraba kefe asisa. So basically, what he what he says, right? She says, "Hafoich hamach teshes, turn over the chopper, the alma yidol, and stand on it." Ukara kadei shiarachu kol kolum kishikra. You should let everyone know that it's time to to rent a garment. Al chacham chayuitz mi amin. When it comes to a chacham, you rip from the right. Al abestin mesmoil on the left. And al nasi mikan umikan. When it comes to a nasi, you rip on uh, both sides. Okay, we're gonna stop here. Let's just see a couple more questions. Question six: El hilchay halachis kriya nimbu de begemar min apaz min eksav yechazik david begadav v'yikarim u'shnayim. And he wants us to answer two of the three. First of all, it comes to say that the shear, the measurement of the kriya, is a tefach. When you grab hold of it, it has to be at least a tefach. You have to separate it from the collar down until it looks like there's it's it's two parts. And also, 
Also, when it comes to um, the Av based in the Nasi, we also rip our garments and we do it with, and we don't uh, repair it. TA 13. So, at what point, um, someone who is not your parents, which is the other relatives, is an Avel allowed to go to a Simchas uh, Moreus? So he says like this Birisusa de Hainu Shahu Maschil, it was a party that had already began, so Achar Lamed. So they can go to that after 30 days. Paranusa, Hainu de Parea Suda Shosolo Mikvar, that you're paying back a meal what was already done, Yisham will alter Yishomer, we Achar Lamed Yoyim. So that is uh, the the difference between the two, which we uh, mentioned already. That the din is that it depends if it's a suda in which like already began and then therefore is Rashi says Hainu Shehiskil Echmehen Lasa Suda. One of your friends already made a meal. Umalavilakulam and like everyone is like goes to it. So that suda, you can only go out until after 30 days. However, the other one, uh, in which it's like a payback, so you can either uh, do it right away, as we said, or possibly there, um, also you have to wait. That was TA13. Uh, TB thirteen. Let's see. I can't. 